Good morning, this is Nolan with Coima Ag. This morning I want to talk to you about um, setting up a 498 series chopper for your corn. Uh, we developed a special plastic block we can put in your cylinders to raise up your upper rear feed roll. Okay, This is a 498 machine with a low serial number with just one hydraulic cylinder. Okay. The reason I say one is because later model 498s have two hydraulic cylinders. So I'm going to show you today and demonstrate a lower serial number 498. This will also work on all the 497 machines. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to add a series of blocks, four of them, on this cylinder. Um, we're going to take off the spring on the other side. This is all for 497s and low 498s and we're going to raise the upper front feed roll with some washers. Um, this entails you to grind your corn better, especially when you use the dual roll adapter from Coima. Um, we've done a lot of fuel testing last year and we found that this solution works very well. So the later 498 series machines will act like a 502. That machine has got the dual cylinders. That one will be a, like a 502 machine. So watch those videos if you have a dual cylinder 498. Watch the 502 videos because that's the, the video you want to watch. So let's get started. Okay, that's it for that. So I want four of them, they'd be two sets. And then we're gonna do eight washers for the front, upper front feed roll. They're five ace washers. Put the bolt about right back where it used to be and either lighter or heavier crop conditions you can adjust this up or down or however you see fit but we see if you have that much thread showing that's about right about five or six threads. And then lock it. Eight washers, remove the upper rear spring. Um, of course, we'll remove the board with a forklift or a skid loader, and you'll be ready to grind ear corn. So you need two K502 stops for a 497 and a low serial number 498. This is Nolan, thank you for your time.